Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is one of my Nature at Your Door shorts. I'm actually northbound on the Appalachian Trail. I'm finishing up the last section from Virginia through West Virginia into Harper's Ferry and then into Maryland. And I'll have completed all 540 miles of Virginia from the Tennessee border all the way to Maryland. So today I wanted to talk about this plant you can see in this background. It has this brilliant spire of flowers and it's called black snake root or black cohosh or black bug mane. So this episode is about a little bit about this very ubiquitous plant that you're bound to see when you're walking in the forest or when you're on the Appalachian Trail. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So here you can see these very distinctive spires that are on a very, very long stalk. And some of these plants are four or even five, maybe pushing six feet tall. So let's take a closer look. This flower here is definitely taller than I am. It's on a long, 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 long spire that is almost leafless coming up from these compound leaves with many many divided leaflets on it that's another distinctive characteristic of this plant but it's unmistakable if you follow this long stem all the way up to my eye level just above six feet and you can see these intricate flowers and when the flowers are about to come out they appear as little white beads or little white pearls Snake root has a long history of medicinal uses by indigenous peoples and Native Americans. And today it is still used by herbalists and foragers for relief of menstrual issues as well as menopause. You can see that pollinators love these flowers. And there's this appears to be many, many native insect species here gathering nectar and helping the plant by spreading its pollen. So it's the end of June on the Appalachian Trail and blooming today is black cohosh or black snake root bug mane. It's just beautiful flowers and you just can't miss them. They are very, very showy. So this is all handheld with my cell phone. I'm going to be getting back on the trail. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about and if you've seen this plant now you know what it is and know a little bit about its uh, past history and its uh, current uses remember if you like my channel please subscribe give me a like and leave me a comment i love hearing from my viewers but thanks for watching this impromptu episode of nature at your door <laughs>